You know that song that we sing in church sometimes? He wraps himself in light and darkness tries to hide. And it's a, it's a song that goes into praising God. And you wonder, where does that phrase come that he, he wraps himself in light? Well, it comes from this psalm today, Psalm 104. As a lot of songs that don't necessarily attribute themselves to a psalm, once you read the psalms, you start hearing choruses and songs that we sing in church. But I happen to love that one because it's, it seems so majestic and it portrays God in a neat way. That's today's psalm, Psalm 104. We're going to read the first few verses and see what we can get from that. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O my Lord God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light as a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a curtain. He, God, lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters. He makes his, the clouds his chariot. He walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. We see the greatness of God in, in terms of his transcendence over um, creation. But this one phrase that he stretches out the heavens like a curtain. You know, years ago when I first uh, came across that verse knowingly in college, and one of my professors in talking about it in our study mentioned that the, the universe is ever expanding. And he said, we didn't know that for, of course, until recent astronomical history that the universe was expanding but that verse is explaining it that god not only stretched it out it's stretching out so the universe was much tighter at creation and much tighter in the days of um, david and scientists now tell you it's expanding and i forgot the number now it's something like 187,000 miles a second it's expanding so rapidly if we left today to make our way to the end of the universe we'd never get there it's expanding much faster than any known travel that we have unless someday we come across wormholes and and black holes that you can go down but then he says he lays the beam of his upper chambers in the waters and he makes his clouds the chariot and he walks on the wings of the wind it's just reminded us once again that God is not bound by nature. He made nature. When Jesus came to his disciples and he walked on the water, not only could Jesus do that effortlessly, he allowed Peter to do it. For as long as Peter could keep himself focused on the Lord Jesus, he walked on the water. But when he saw the heavy waves building up, he panicked and he fell into the water and he asked Jesus to save him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul because he is wrapped in light as a garment. This garment I have on today, I have a friend who has a boat and he keeps telling me he's gonna take me out on his boat. So I got this shirt by faith in preparations that I'll get to go on his boat. It's got little fish and saw, saw fish on it or swordfish on it. Um, and it's a nice shirt, I, I, it's comfortable. It looks nice on the camera. I might even wear it tomorrow, too. But God dresses himself in light. If you could go out and buy a, a multi-thousand dollar suit at an expensive store or a dress or a pair of shoes and, and just dress to the nines, it would, it would look like nothing compared to the glory and the majesty with which God clothes himself, wraps himself in it with light itself. Imagine that. That's the great God who we worship. The God who not only creates nature, he remains above it while controlling it. And he transcends it, and that includes time. You and I have nothing to fear. You and I have nothing to worry about. We have no reason to stay away from our Lord and Savior and not bring him our concerns because he has saved us, forgiven us, and made us his own and told us to come boldly before his throne. I hope today when you go through your today's experience, you remember that our Savior walks on the wings of the wind and he's clothed in light. And he makes his ministers, his angels, um, spirits of fire, power, and light. 
Uh, we, are, we are not left alone. God is with us, and he'll be with you today. Let's pray. Father, once again, we do bless you. We praise you, and we honor you for who you are and what you've done, for your power, your majesty, your glory, your beauty. We don't even understand how you could be clothed in light. But, Father, the imagery is just astounding. Help us to be in awe of you today and to trust you and to have faith in you as we face today's challenges. For we ask that in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day. And we'll see you